Hi, in this session I'm going to show how to create a drop-down list. Now there's several ways that you can create a drop-down list, but this is going to, I'm going to show how to do one with a uh, with the data validation feature in Excel. So here is an example of a drop-down list. This is a drop-down list of continents. So we have our continents here. There's the seven continents of the world. And uh, once we select a cell, there's a little drop-down here where you can select the continents here. So there's a couple ways that we can do this. We can either create the drop-down list uh, with some comma-separated values. We can do it with a selection of a range or do it with a name range. So let's go through the first example of how to create a drop-down list with data validation with comma-separated values, the CSV values. What we're going to do is select the cell first and go into data and data validation. There's also a keyboard sh keyboard shortcut and I'll show that later but here is the example using the uh, ribbon. We go to data tab and then go to data validation and click on data validation here. So once we have this what we want to do is allow and select the list one. So once we select the list we have to identify the source and with the source here what we're talking about um, if we're going to do it with with comma separated values is to have all the have basically all our items separated by commas so uh, I should have copied this first so let me cancel out of here and go ahead and make a copy of this select that and do a control C and then go into the cell here where I want the drop down and here's a good example of where I can use the the keyboard shortcuts just press alt D like David L like uh, Larry and the data validation dialog box comes up. Go under list, go under the source field, and just press Control C. I mean, excuse me, Control V to paste what I copied earlier, and click OK. And here we have our drop-down list. So the other example of creating a drop-down list is with the selection of a range. And here, the same example. I'm just going to go ahead and press Alt D L to bring up the data validation dialog box and go ahead and click list and under the source I'll just select the source of the items that I want to put in the drop down list so you can see here it's selected our, our seven items here in column A. So go ahead and click OK and you can see here now we also have a drop down list. Now the third example is with a named range so in this example what we're going to do is we're going to name our range first and then we're going to put it into the data validation list. So I'll go over here and select. I can go and create the range first. And I'd go under formulas and create from selection. And uh, first, well, first I have, to, I have to select it first. So I'll go ahead and even select this header that defines it. And I'll show you why. Once I've selected it, I'll go under create from selection and the dialog box comes up where um, it asked where to get the name of the range from so the name of the range is going to be continent so that's the first row the top row if you had a uh, the name on the left column you can select that but we have it on the top row so we're going to click that selection click OK and the reason why we'll see that it's already created a name is we can go to name manager and we'll see that that is selected and see the values Asia Africa North America, etc. So I'll go ahead and close that. So now with that name range created, we can go back here and I'll go ahead and do Alt DL to bring up the data validation dialog box. Go under list and when I go to source, I can press actually the F3 key. It will bring up the name manager. So we can paste the name in there. See continent is in there. So we go ahead and double click that. Now we see continent in there. And now continent is basically the name of this whole range here from uh, row 3 to 9. Actually, it sells uh, column, row 3, column 1 to row 9, column 1. Basically, click, click OK. And now that name range has been added in there for the data validation. If I click down here, we can see here that it is selected. So the nice thing about actually... Um, using the name range or selection of ranges. If you have something here where you want it to sort, see this is not sorted in alphabetical order, I can basically just select this and go under home 
and uh, sort this. Actually, this is probably under insert, or was it under? Actually, we can also we can also just go under, just select it and right click, left click and do a sort uh, A to Z. So now it's sorted A to Z, and you can see here that now this has also been sorted, and this has also been sorted because they are based on the ranges. However, uh, if this was hard coded in there, this is not sorted. So that's the nice thing about using the uh, range and the name ranges. So there you go. There's how to create a drop-down list. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.